Hello. In this video, we will discuss how to use the schedule. When using the schedule, we can start by clicking on the schedule tab. Once loaded, you will notice that the default view is work week, and you can change the view simply by clicking on the view tape, which can be date, work week, week, agenda, or month. For example, clicking on week will show you days Monday through Sunday, and clicking on work week will only show you days Monday through Friday. Now, to add a patient to the schedule, double click on any open time slot. For example, this day. Then you will get the box slot the required field. First, we select the patient. You can either scroll through or type the patient's name. Then we attach the correct case, or if no case exists, we can click no case. Right now, we will choose demo case. Then we select the therapist. In the share account, you can see all the therapist accounts. Next, we select the visit type. Now, these can be controlled in the visit type settings. These are all examples, and they can be edited to fit your own office. Since this is our first visit with this patient, we will click evaluation as our type. Under that is the attendance status. We, can, we have options, none, OK, no show, and cancel. For now, we leave it as none because this is only a pending visit. If any payments are due, it will show in the payment due field. This is controlled based on what type of case it is, whether it is a cash visit or there is a copay that the patient has to pay. Then we see the total balance due, if any, below. And then you can also control the date and the time from these fields. Then we're going to click OK to see the patient on the schedule. Now you will see that the patient appears at the time and the date that we selected and the color is based on the visit type. Notice that we can now drag the patient up and down to any date as needed and we can even extend the session or shorten the session by dragging the window. Also you'll see that the patient's name appears in red because this case is a Medicare case. If the patient is not Medicare, it will appear in black. Icons appear next to the patient's name to let us know that, for example, the plan of care is not renewed. There are other icons to, as well to help guide you visually from the calendar. Now, as you might have already noticed, putting the mouse over the patient's name will show you a box with some additional details you can even send an SMS or an email appointment reminder to the patient, as well as open the patient's details or open their case. If I ever need to change the visit, I simply click on the visit. Now, I can modify as needed. For example, if the patient came to the session and checked in, I change the attendance to OK. Notice that once the patient is checked in, the Apply Payment checkbox appears, and I can put in any payments that were made, including how they were paid, and any comments if necessary. Also, I can, I can set these visits as recurring by clicking on the Weekly Recurrence checkbox and setting the correct values. Once I press Save, notice that the new icon appears to the right of the patient's name, showing the attendance status. If I ever wanted to add a non-patient event, I click on Static Event Setup, and I can set it up this way. I will click on the Add New Record, put the name of the event, such as Lunch Time, and I will put the time. For example, we start from 8 a.m. and we will end at 9 a.m. Then we'll click Update and we will see that the non-patient event appears as a block and it will not let us schedule patients for that time. Next, we'll click on the Patient tab. Click on the respective patient and choose the Visit sub-tab. 
notice that the scheduled visit appears here. This is a very useful screen because once you have made you have many scheduled visits, you, you can now see them in the area instead of scrolling for the calendar back and forth. This screen shows the date and time, the case name, the provider, the attendance status, the payments, and the balances. From here, I can also apply payments by clicking on the dollar icon. It will only be available if the attendance is OK. I can, for example, press cash and say that the patient paid $20. Now you will see the updated status of the balance. After saving, I will it will update the balance, and you can even print the receipt for the patient by simply clicking on the visit and clicking print. It will then download to your computer. And here it is, the appointment list with all the visits and the respective visit.